السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك ودن ويلكتشر ويد اكريديتد ريبوراتري Matrix Matched Calibration Curve How to prepare Matrix Matched Calibration Curve and what is the use of this Matrix Matched Calibration Curve means that you need to prepare your calibration standards on the matrix itself not on the solvent as you know that there are two types of calibration we have solvent calibration and matrix matched calibration in solvent calibration you will prepare your calibration standards on the solvent but in case of matrix matched calibration curve you will prepare your calibration standards on the matrix itself what is the use of this to remove the effect of matrix on target analytes if you have any effect from the interferences on matrix on your target analytes by enhancement or suppression if the matrix interference increase the concentration of target analytes or decrease the concentration of target analytes you need to remove this effect to get the real concentration for your target analytes in the tested samples so you need to prepare matrix matched calibration curve to prepare calibration standards on the matrix itself but you should know that the effect of matrix on target analytes will be different from matrix to another matrix so if you analyze your target analytes on different matrices you need to prepare a specific calibration standards for each matrix but that will be very difficult for you if you have as example 10 type of matrices you need to prepare a specific calibration for each one so you will have every day 10 types of calibration for 10 matrix and that will be very difficult so in this case you can select a representative matrix for each group as example if you analyze vegetables you will select cucumber to be representative matrix for vegetables group if you analyze fruits you will select as example apple to be a representative matrix if you analyze meats you can select chicken as example to be your representative matrix whatever type of matrices you analyze you can select a representative matrix to be used for preparation of matrix matched calibration curve as example for matrix matched calibration curve prepare calibration standards 1 5 10 25 50 and 100 microgram per liter for your method you will take a weight of 2 gram of sample 2 gram of sample and you will add the standard and you will prepare for each standard specific tube like this 100 microgram per liter multiply to 2 gram from 1 milligram per liter that means you need to prepare 100 microgram per liter on 2 gram of sample from this standard this standard will be used to prepare 100 microgram per liter 1 milligram per liter so you will get 200 microliter 200 microliter from 1 milligram per liter will be added to 2 gram of sample to get at the end 100 microgram per liter and the same for 50 microgram per liter you will add 100 microliter 25 microgram per liter you will add 50 microliter on specific tube so you will have tube for 100, mic 100 microgram per liter and another tube for 50 and another tube for 25 and you will run these three tubes for the whole procedure for whole extraction and at the end you will dilute these standards to get also 10 5 and 1 microgram per liter 10 microgram per liter multiplied to 1 ml you will prepare each standard on the HPEC vial 1 ml 10 microgram per liter multiplied to 1 ml HPEC vial from 100 microgram per liter so you will take 100 microliter from 
100 microgram per liter and will be diluted by 900 microliter of your solvent and the same for 5 microgram per liter and 1 microgram per liter this 5 will be from 50 and 1 will be from 10 you will add 100 micro microliter from each one of them plus 900 microliter of the solvent in this example dilution factor was equal to 1 but what if the dilution factor equal to 2 as example in this case 100 microgram per liter will be prepared as the following will be multiplied to dilution factor 2 multiplied to 2 gram of sample from 1 milligram per liter so you need to add 400 microliter from 1 milligram per liter on the sample on the blank sample to get 100 microgram per liter at the end on the instrument because 100 microgram per liter will be diluted two times so you will multiply at the at the beginning to the dilution factor to get at the end your 100 microgram per liter concentration and also that will be same for other standards then you will get your calibration curve relation between area which is the response and the concentration calibration curve will be like this and r square value should be higher than or equal to 0.99 in some cases it should be higher than or equal to 0.995 but you should not be more restricted in case of matrix matched calibration curve you can use easy guideline in this because preparation of standards on the matrix it's different than on the solvent there is an effect from the matrix so in some cases in some cases you cannot get higher than or equal to 0.995 it may be difficult so in this case you can select this guideline who is saying that our square value should be higher than or equal to 0.99 but i really found matrix matched calibration curve is very difficult for any analyst because it's very difficult to be prepared every day and also difficult to get accurate results or acceptance limit every time you will prepare and you have to prepare this calibration every day if your analytes are degradable or easy evaporated so using matrix matched calibration curve can be in case of research study only but for routine analysis better not to use and you can use standard matrix sample that i explained before in details in quality control lecture but i will explain again in this lecture as i explained before that for every sequence you shall prepare quality control samples from these quality control samples you have matrix spike sample and the standard matrix sample the difference between them matrix spike sample will take the whole extraction procedure from the beginning till the end like the routine sample so your standard will be spiked on the tested sample from the beginning of extraction and it will take the whole extraction procedure and only one sample only one sample will be spiked even if you have different type of matrices because in case of matrix spike sample used to assess the efficiency of the method it will not be used to eliminate or remove the, uh, the effect of matrix on target analyte like the standard matrix sample but in case of a standard matrix sample you need to prepare standard matrix sample for each type of matrix if you have different type of matrices you shall prepare standard matrix sample for each type of matrix because the effect of matrix on the target analytes will be different from matrix to another as I said before and it will be added the standard will be added at the end of extraction on HPLC vial at the end you will add the standard on the prepared or blank sample solution on the solution not on the sample uh, at the beginning like the matrix spike sample as example for that if you will spike 50 microgram per liter on the tested sample and you got on the instrument 23 microgram per liter in this case if you calculate the recovery will be equal to 46 percentage and for standard matrix sample you will add 50 microgram per liter also it should be with the same concentration as of the matrix spike 50 microgram per liter on the blank sample at the end so 50 microgram per liter and you got 
on the insulin 25 microgram per liter and you will calculate correction factor this correction factor equal to 50 microgram per liter divided by 25 microgram per liter equal to 2 this correction factor will be multiplied to the spike symbol you will get 46 microgram per liter so recovery in this case will be equal to 92 percentage and that's accepted recovery so this correction factor will be multiplied to all positive samples in the sequence and also to the spike sample to get the real concentration that was the end of our lecture for today i tried to make it very simple for you if you have any question about this lecture please leave a comment thank you and see you in the next lecture